Stamping friends, it's Jackie Balhais from Clump and Stampers, and I have this super adorable project to share with you. I have to say, I'm a little proud of this one because I mainly do cards. It's rare that I do stuff that it's not a card, but lately I've been kind of on this kick where I've been having so much fun making these cute little gift items. And this one, I totally figured out on my own. Um, the measurements of it. Yeah, there's a lot of cardstock that is in my trash because I tried and now a little bigger, a little smaller, but I figured it out. So I'm so excited to share this with you. So what this is, it's a little box that holds this adorable little candle. It looks like, um, a little coffee cup and it's well this one's salted caramel frappe i think there was a couple other flavors so to speak but they're candles i found at my local dollar tree store and they're a buck and i thought what a fun little gift and i'll show you how i even inserted a gift card into my little packaging here so we're gonna set the candle aside and we're gonna set this aside and i'm gonna show you how i made my box to hold this so we have several pieces going on here. Um, I have a six and a half by six and a half piece of cardstock. I have a two and seven eighths by seven and a three by 11. And all of these go into making our box. So let's start with our six and a half by six and a half. We'll just tear a little sticky note. I figured that was the only way I could remember. And we'll grab our scoreboard here. Let's see, let's put this, make sure you can see that. Hopefully we don't have too much of a glare on it. And we're gonna take our six and a half square and we're gonna score it on all sides at one and three quarters. So we'll come here and do one and three quarters. And I'm just gonna turn it and do all four sides at one and three quarters. So. There's those, and as long as we're scoring, why don't we score all of our pieces, and then we'll come back and put this together. So next, I have the three by 11, and we're gonna stick this on here, and we are going to score at one and three quarters, and then four and three quarters. Now don't worry about remembering these. I will have a blog post, and the link will be in the video. Um, to that blog post and I'll have all of these dimensions written on the blog for you. So we had one and three quarters, four and three quarters, then we're gonna jump over here to six and a half, and then we're gonna jump out here to nine and a half. We'll set that one aside, and then let's take our two and seven eighths by seven, and this one we're going to simply score at three. And we'll set that one aside, and we can get rid of our little scoring tool here. And let's go back first to our six and a half square that we've scored at the um, one and three quarter mark all the way around. And I'm gonna flip it over. It, you know, I always used to struggle. Okay, we have the indent here, okay? Call that like the valley. And then on this side, it's raised up, um, or you can call that your mountain. And everybody asks, what's the proper way? Do I fold it with that mountain up? or with the, the valley. And really, it scores the best. And honestly, I don't know if there's a proper way, but playing around, if the side where there's a little groove, okay, the valley, if that's what's on the outside of your fold, okay? So that's the way we're gonna go. And we're gonna go all the way around, and we'll use our bone folder to get some really nice creases all the way around like so. Then we're gonna grab our snips, and with the snips, we are going to just cut on the score line, right up to that other score line on the two sides here. And then we're gonna flip it over on this side and we're gonna do two of them here. So our box is actually going to go together just like so, that's the base of our box. But before I put it together, I wanna decorate it a little bit. So we're gonna flip it so we make sure we're on the outside. And I have some pieces of the Coffee Break DSP here that are two and three quarters by one and a half. And I am going to just use some fast fuse on here. Um, and I am going to stick these on the four, whoops. on the four outside um, areas, the sides of the box. I don't even know what to call these pieces. I 
hope you can sense that I'm kind of excited about this box because I figured out these measurements myself and that doesn't happen very often. So, whoop. and let's see. So that one goes like so. Now our box is ready to fold up and I found that for boxes, I, oops, I'm gonna get stuck in here. I really like the fast fuse because it sticks well, holds well. If you struggle with the fast fuse, one of the important things is you set it down and you're not putting a lot of pressure. When you get to where you wanna end it, you wanna go a sharp right. And then the next time, if you can remember, try to go a sharp left. And if you alternate, so we're gonna go to the right, to the left. By alternating the way you go to break it off like that, it does help kind of keep it centered in there and not get all messed up on you. So we have adhesives on those four corners. And I am going to just fold this up. And as I'm doing this, we're just matching this outside piece, okay? So that the at my side here just kind of goes along that score. We'll go right there. And as I was designing this box, I wanted to make it as simple as I could make it. Now I know a lot of people make boxes all the time, but sometimes I've looked at the way some of them have done them and I thought, that's just a little too complicated for my brain. So I, I tried to keep this as simple as I could. Now, so I figured out the size for my candle to fit in, but it just like sloshes around in there. So I needed a way to hold that. So I made an insert and that is where our piece comes into play here that was three by 11. We did all the scoring on it. Now there's one more thing I need to do to this piece before we fold it up and I show you how it works is I'm taking one of my circles from the layering circles and it's the size that just fits in this. It's a three by three square because we scored at one and three quarters and then four and three quarters. So it just fits there. So we're gonna go run this through the big shot. Okay, there we go. So now you can see we have a circle plus all of our scoring. And we're gonna go ahead and fold this. Once again, the, the little indent part is down on the bottom. So we're folding with the indent out. So we'll go and we're going to fold each one of these. Get some really nice creases in there. Like that and like that. And now, as you can see, this will fold up to make a little stand that's gonna hold our candle. So now you gotta be a, you gotta think a little bit when you put this one together because one of these flaps, this one is the one and three quarters. That's the height I need this. This one's a little bit shorter. So make sure when you put this together, um, you know, you're, you're going this way, you're gonna have a little bit showing, but that's okay, you'll see why. Don't, um, you know, put that, don't put the shorter one all the way up there and having our, our flap hang down there. Hope that makes sense. I think this is why I stick to cards. Boxes are hard to describe um, as you're making them. So let's put our fast fuse. We'll go one way to the right, one way to the left. And then on my bigger side here, I'm making sure just lines up with the bottom. Okay, so there is our little insert that should slide right down into our box. You slide it in there. I'm not using any adhesive or anything. It just slides in there and look at that. Now when I put my candle in there, it's not sloshing around. It holds it really nice. So next, oh, we'll show you this. Um, these are paper straws. I actually ordered these on Amazon. They were super cheap. They weren't that expensive. I cut it down. I think it's at three and a half. Um, so that can go in there because now doesn't that just look adorable? Okay. And like I said, I wanted to add a gift card to my little gift here because I have a dollar into it. So I can buy a gift card to Starbucks and what an awesome little gift. So here is our piece that was two and seven eighths by seven. We scored it at three. So we can just fold that up. And I have some DSP for this one as well. I have a, what do we have? Two and five eighths by one and a half. And like I said, I will have all of these dimensions written in the blog post and the link will be in the description of the video. So I'm just sticking that on the inside. And then I have a two and five eighths by two and three quarters. We'll put some adhesive on this one. Get our 
course, stripes going the right way. And that's going to go on the outside here. What I'm making is my little gift card holder. And I thought, I think we need a little circle punch because that always makes things look like there's something here to pull out. So we just punch, what is that, one, one inch. So that is going to hold our gift card. Let me grab, oh, actually I can't grab the gift card. It's all packaged up nice and cute in here and I don't want to open that one right now. So what I did is I just slid the gift card in there. I did not even put any adhesives onto the side. So I slid the gift card in there and watch this. This piece just slides down into the box. Oops, let's see, you gotta get, have to get inside those flaps, there we go. It just slides down like so. I don't have to put any adhesive in there. It's ready for me to just pull out, voila, there would be a gift card. Um, and then I, let's go back to our original. You can see it's just slid down in there. I just tied a piece of ribbon around the box and I used my coffee um, cafe stamp set and I made a little coffee cup here with Life Happens, Coffee Helps, stuck it onto the box. So we just wrapped the ribbon around here and I stuck it on there with dimensionals and then I did another one for my little tag, Happiness is a Cup of Coffee. Now I want to show you something about this one. If we look at our stamp set, this is one big stamp, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. Well, I didn't want to say shared with a friend because I'm giving this as a gift. What I have actually done with this stamp set is I took my scissors and I cut the stamp into two. And I do this quite often. You've seen me do it with the Painted Harvest and a few other stamp sets. So now if I want, I can use the stamp that says just happiness is a cup of coffee, or I could use shared with a friend. So when I stamped that one and cut it out, that made our little coffee wrap on there. Wrapped it around, tied it with a bow, and look at that cute gift. Now, I should tell you also my cello bag, because I wanted a nice gusseted one for it to stand up in nice. These are the large gusseted bags that we have now. And I just cut it down because it was a little bit too tall. I cut it at 12 inches. I cut in your paper cutter really easy. And then I was able to wrap up my little gift. So we'll take a peek at the one that's not wrapped up again. And I hope this is an easy tutorial. Like I said, I'm not one for doing a lot of 3D projects because I always think they're too difficult. So I tried to design this box and show you to make it simple because you know me, I'm all about Stampin' Made Simple. If you have any questions at all, make sure you get a hold of me. I would love to help you. Um, and if you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored if you would select me as your your one. I will send you catalogs if you need them. Otherwise, if you need to place an order, I really appreciate all orders that are placed through my website and I'll have all the links to that as well. So again, it was fun sharing with you and I hope you like a non-card idea from me. Um, maybe we'll have these more often. I, I'm kind of having fun. I have to admit, I discovered the Dollar Tree and all these fun little goodies that make fun gifts. So have a stamp happy day, guys.